welcome one and all to the glorious Paramount Theater for kicking off Fantastic Fest number five. Thanks everybody for coming out. Um, this is uh, a movie that I had the pleasure of seeing uh, uh, back in April. I remember it very well because it was April 14th because I was in Los Angeles for the Michael Jackson estate auction. I was ready to pay down serious money and the auction was canceled, of course. But the good thing is, is I got to see Gentleman Broncos way early. It was a bit of an uh, early cut, but it's still shown through that this movie was magic and amazing. And I'm really just happy that it's going to be kicking everything off. It's, it represents everything wonderful about filmmaking. I've been such a huge fan of this gentleman that's going to be joining me on the stage. Well, you know since when, since a little movie called Napoleon Dynamite. I love that movie. I love this guy. Mr. Jared Hess, come on to the stage. Well, um, thank you for having us. You know, I don't think... Uh, we can have a better film festival for our movie, Gentleman Bronco, so we're very honored to be here. Um, sorry, I'm kind of nervous. But this is a beautiful theater, man. Holy cow, I've heard many great things. Everybody says that you got a screen at the Paramount Theater, and uh, we're very, very fortunate to be here. So thank you. Um, great. Well, um, I'd like to introduce some of our cast. Um, uh, first off, Michael Angarano. The handsome little devil. He plays the lead. Um, and next we have Sam Rockwell, one of my favorite people. In life. And the lovely Mike White. My favorite contestant on The Amazing Race. And my lovely wife, who without none of this would be possible, Jerusha. Co writer of the film. Um, on the Gentleman Broncos website, we did a nationwide search for the best sci fi coup, which is a poem about anything science fiction of your ch choosing. And um, we have a very special guest to read the top three <laughs> best sci-fi coups in America, Dr. Ronald Chevalier. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. still hear a few of you applauding. <laughs> How humbling it is to be here in the home state of Texas Instruments. <laughs> the producers of the leading scientific calculators of the 1980s. <laughs> and what a fantastic fest it is. The organizers have assured me that it may even rival Magnificon. <laughs> and it will definitely be better than Mediocre Fest 09, <laughs> of which I was the host. <laughs> now I read the winning entries of the sci fi coup contest. A sci fi coup is possibly the shortest form of science fiction writing known to mankind. <laughs> Not easy consists of a line of five syllables followed by another seven syllables. <laughs> and then tops it all off with another with five syllables again. <laughs> the first comes from John Nicolacopoulos. Twinkle, little star, if I do not get my wish, I will destroy you. <laughs> That's Quite a menacing poem. <laughs> this one's from Melissa Clemente. This kooky planet floating forever in space. 
A cosmic sandwich. Something to ponder there. And finally, from Slav Ukrainus. Excellent choice of name. Pseudonym. Protons zap my chest. My heart explodes in sick smoke. Good to have a clown. Indeed it is. Well done, John, Melissa, and Slav. In the tongue of the warlike Bungbuk people of Blackathon III. In the tongue of the warlike Gungaduck people of Blackathon III. Baga ra ra ra. Which means congratulations. I hope you enjoy this film. I myself abhor cinema. for stupid people, but I wasn't aware that this was a film festival when I was uh, contracted to do it, and it, it's too late to get out of it now. It's, it's too late, is it? Bridget, it's too late, isn't it? I'm contractually obliged to, I mean, I'm almost finished, so I may as well. Well, I'll hand you back to Jared soon. May the light of the Borg Queen shine upon you. <laughs>